This is Minecraft, but everything gets bigger. Today, everything in Minecraft is about to go from small to big to, whoa, that's way too big. From bigger crafting to giant structures to even a giant world, my goal is to grow Minecraft to the ultimate growth level. But as everything gets bigger, things are going to be getting a lot harder. So what's the biggest Minecraft can get? And what if the world is tiny? Stay tuned to find out. This is the smallest village I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. And our goal today, as you can see from the top, is to get bigger, where we're going to be doing a lot of bigger challenges challenges throughout the video up to the very end when we get to the biggest size we can and for now we're pretty much stuck in a world where everything is as small as possible even the crafting table and in the one by one crafting table we get a tiny sword everything gets bigger aren't swords usually bigger look how small it is oh and we can shoot it but for now what else do i do with this village i'm not really sure wait what tiny iron golem it's so small okay it's not a very tiny golem so slowly but surely things are getting bigger but what the heck okay okay we're apparently fighting tiny villagers what the heck is going on they dropped something random right there i don't even know what that is but they're so small wait what the heck is that oh yo it's a bunch of swords attacking him go to my swords get him and there we go okay so that's gonna be it for all the tiny villagers and they seem to also drop something over here guys what the heck is going on so i guess that's the first tiny challenge and we ended up getting a potion of growth and a lot of growing powder i don't really have any wood and i can't really grab wood from this stuff so do i just drink this oh size up wait what just happened my screen went black your potion of growth made the village get bigger wait what it literally instantly got bigger oh that's sick all right so now we have normal villagers inside of a normal village but if we look literally right outside of the village the entire world is gigantic and like i said guys the world got bigger because this is a normal dandelion and that's a bigger world dandelion but does the village have anything special maybe let's look around oh like always yet again another subscribe button in the village and i might as well mention right now if you guys are new to the channel feel free to click that subscribe button and try to help us to have 5 million subscribers coming up soon and does this do anything special what they just got even bigger right oh wow size level 12 required to interact and it's a giant wither missing one head anyways i guess let's keep exploring and see what we can find wait a second that's not a normal ore okay so it's like a rainbow ore oh it's for the growing powder okay so i still don't know what to use the growing powder for but i guess it must be important since it's an ore i mean why not let's keep going up and see if we can find anything else holy look at these cactuses and the dead bushes and that's a bit of a normal desert temple i mean i know everything's getting bigger but what oh 10 growing powder is needed to grow this temple oh okay i have 17 so this might be good enough then where do i put it oh okay so i think it's to this dude right here all right here you go buddy take all the growing powder you want oh oh gosh okay this looks a little bit ominous giant desert temple home of the pharaoh oh, why i was ready for this golden tiny swords i was not expecting to be fighting a pharaoh this early on holy this guy is tough okay no stay away stay away what the heck is he shooting at me okay sword do your thing couple more hits he's almost dead and yes okay that's gonna be it for the pharaoh and now let's get rid of all those mobs anyways from that we ended up getting a pharaoh's staff which i think i've gone this before and yet again another potion of growth so i guess we can get to the next growth level and what does the staff do before we do that oh it's like a slingshot oh that's sick what about here because we now have a giant temple is there something down here oh there is is. holy this thing is huge okay before we get down there let's go ahead and drink the potion of growth size up yet again and we now have a mission at the top that says unlock the giant gate well before we get to that let me real quick explore this temple by going all the way down and okay before anything let's make sure to break all these i am not breaking every single tnt in the world and is it really that much tnt oh my gosh hold on yo that's so much tnt what the heck okay um okay that should be enough let's go all the way back up and now what's inside of each chest Wait, what? This is different. Frostwalker 1. I mean, why not? And even a Vex Spawn Egg. Oh, wait. Every single one is different. Even Netherite Boots? Sure. Guys, this is the most random loot ever. We even got a crossbow. I'm going to check every single chest at this point. Wait, is that a Herobrine Head? Okay, yeah, we're pretty much done here. Anyways, if I do need more stuff, I'll come back all the way here. But I don't want to spend the rest of the challenge just looting all these chests. So let's go ahead and try to unlock that giant gate that the top is telling us to. Wait, so I got all the way back up. And what the heck is this? It's a bunch of steves and a pickaxe in the middle okay anyways let's keep going holy the world really is getting bigger this is a clip of the desert temple before and this is how it looks right now that is insane and we're not done there because we have a giant ruined portal over there a giant cow and even a giant dog i didn't even see that before right anyways i guess let's just get down well here it is the giant gate and unlock the gate to increase your size yet again so this time i need 10 giant iron ingots how am i supposed to get a giant 
iron ingot. Do I just mine iron or something? Oh, wait, I have a big crafting table. Crafts in a five by five grid? Wait, when I get this? Did I get this from the Pharaoh? Oh, yeah, that's a big crafting table. My goodness. Okay, so this is a five by five. And I think this makes sense now, guys. So if we remember from when I saw the painting, I'm pretty sure there was an iron pickaxe or some form of a pickaxe in the middle. So I guess let's find some iron real quick and then craft it. Guys, these caves are so big. What the heck? Anyways, I ended up getting the iron ingots, which let's real quick make an iron pickaxe. So I guess let's surround this iron pickaxe with a bunch of growing powder. And hey, there we go. Okay, so we now have the big iron pickaxe, which like it says, perfect for mining giant iron. And again, it's stressing that everything in this video, guys, is about to get bigger. I guess now we go all the way down. How does this mine? Oh, that's a three by three. And now for us to find some iron, it won't be hard to find it because as you can see, everything is extremely big. Oh, we found some. That is huge. Okay, I'm going to say like huge and big so many times this video, guys, but wait, did that work? 12 giant iron ingots. That's sick. Okay, let me get as many as I can, actually, and then we can go ahead and get back to the gate. Well, we're here, and I guess we just got to put in the iron ingots. Hey, there we go. Nice. You may now leave. A potion fell out of the gate's lock. Oh, wow. Yeah, a uh, potion literally fell out, and we now have yet again another potion of growth, and I'm going to guess that's going to be the third challenge for today's bigger video. And size up. Use growing powder to grow three peaceful mobs to increase size. Oh, okay. So we ended up doing progress on the progress bar at the top. And our new mission is to grow three animals, zero out of three. Well, now the goal is to definitely find some mobs. And hopefully nothing bad happens from those mobs. Also, there's a random witch hut that says size level four required to interact. So I think we're level three. So we might do that next right there. Anyways, though, where are some mobs? Okay, this took forever. But we finally found a mob. And it's a pig on the top of them. Mountain. All right, Mr. Pig, I'm going to grow you real quick, and hopefully this works. Right click? What? Hello? Buff Pig? Are you friendly? Oh, he's not friendly. Okay, okay. Well, what's up, man? I, can't, I came in peace, and now we're doing this right now. Let's attack him with our tiny sword and get this over with really quickly. Oh, wait. What about the big arm pickaxe? Oh, that does good damage, too. Hey, there we go. Okay, so I guess there goes the big old Buff Pig, and we got a Buff Pork Shop. Reasons to never skip a light day. Oh, we're riding the pig now, and I ate the Buff Pork Shop. Okay, this might help us find another mall because these mobs aren't really mobs. They're, I guess, just giant versions of normal mobs. Let's try now maybe growing a chicken. So, uh, right click. Holy! Oh, what the heck? Why am I being thrown eggs at? Literally not the best item to do this with, but we're going in with the TNT. Chicken, you're going down. What the heck? Why is that guy so big? Oh, we got him. Okay. Well, rest in peace, chicken. And we now have a huge piece of fried chicken. This should last a while. So what happens if I right click it? Chicken ability unlocked. Press K to launch chickens. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. We can launch giant chickens. Right. Okay. Well, I guess that's two mobs down. And now we just have one more to go at the top. Oh, wait, a cow. All right, senior cow. What will you do when you're giant? What is that? So we got a potion of growth and now we have a buff pig, but this is a cow. This is not a buff pig. Oh, oh, yep. He's punching me. Okay. Yep. Let's get this guy out of the way. And there we go. Rest in peace, buff cow. Anyways, now that we have the potion of growth, uh, let's go ahead and use that again. And yet again, size up and hostile mobs should grow too. Wait, what? Oh, now I have to grow three mobs. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's go back in that giant cave over there. Oh, we got our first creeper. Okay. So do I just go ahead and right click this guy? Oh my. Holy! That is so big! Okay, no, no, you're not exploding, though I'm kind of curious. Oh my goodness. Okay, the tiny sword's about to break, so we should probably not use it as much as we're using it right now. But we did get a giant piece of TNT, which says giant explosive power. Okay, uh, how does this work? Right click? Wait, what 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 I just do? Oh, oh. Nice! That's cool. I think. All right, let's try finding some more mobs then. Ooh, zombie. Okay. All right, I'm gonna right click you. Please be nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, giant zombie horde leader? That's not even a giant zombie. Okay, well, it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, nope, 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 nope. You stay down there. Let's get rid of you real quick. He's putting in more zombies. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, okay. This is not good. Oh, yes. Okay, so we got the zombie at least. Our sword is about to break, but right on time, because we're about to get another sword, which is gonna be a giant zombie sword. Sharpness three, right click sword meteor. I guess we can try that up there. Okay, so what does sword meteor do? Right click? Oh, oh, that's good. That is really good, actually. Oh, wait, I'm realizing now, guys, because we're at tier four at the top, it might be time we actually go to the witch hut, and that might be one of the mobs we have to do. 
size level four required to interact. Do I just go inside? Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, potions. Um, anything in the barrels? Wait, bomb buddy? What the heck is this? Okay, we'll try this out later. Anyways, right click. Oh gosh, wait, what? What? A potion of growth that fell out of the last monster you grew. The witch didn't try to fight us, but it became a structure. Wait, what the heck is this? I guess I'll come back to that if I need to. But anyways, let's go ahead and drink the potion of growth. And I guess we got to climb this thing. All right, size up. And now we got to defeat the giant door. Oh, that might be the giant door. But I guess before we do that, let's try to parkour all the way up this witch. That's kind of cool. Wait, the little witch guy got out. Okay, so what exactly does this guy do? Little wizard. Hey, traveler, take this book of recipes. Big book of recipes. Now go see my brother at the top of the statue. He has some good deals on some cool items. And he's gone now. Okay, so what the heck is this? Oh, wait, some big bread sounds tasty. Holy, that is a lot of crafts. So I'm gonna guess that these are all the crafts we can make throughout the video. But for now, I'm pretty much start going all the way up here. Right. Okay, we'll get back to that. And I guess let's go back to the parkour. Oh, gosh. Okay, if I fall, I don't have a water bucket and I legit die. I don't know why I do this every single time. All right, we're almost there. Oh, and there we go. Oh, that is a big witch. Oh, nitwit novice. And so now I can trade for some stuff, including one giant netherite ingot, which I don't have. It gives me a giant bow. And then with some growing powder, we can get big head juice. Have you ever wanted to be a bobblehead? I mean, sure. And then with two giant iron ingots and growing powder, Powder, we can get a massive wand where I can do giant fireballs in a trail. I mean, why not? So what is big head juice? Oh, I drank it. Whoa, 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 what just happened? Guys, I have no idea what just happened, but what about the massive wand? Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's really sick. Oh my God. Gosh, the amount of abilities I have this video. Anyways, I guess I'll come back to the witch whenever we have one giant netherite ingot. And in the meantime, let's go investigate that giant door over there. Holy, this thing is huge. Giant iron ingots four. Do I have four? Oh, okay, I have six. Okay, so do I just throw these? Oh, and now we gotta do growing powder. So let's go ahead and put in all the growing powder. And we literally need a little bit more. So let's real quick do some mining. There we go. Okay, this is a lot of growing powder to get. All right, giant door. Here you go. One more growing powder. And oh, we can go inside. Oh, it just pulled me in. Um... Hello? Defeat the giant door. Wait, what? Wait, why are the mobs so big? Survive to the top and defeat the giant door? Holy, that's so many mobs. Okay, so to get out of here, I'm gonna guess I gotta defeat the giant door. Let's just ignore as many mobs as we can and try not dying. I really wanna mine stuff, but I'm being attacked by every single mob possible. Can I mine these? Are giant diamonds a thing? Oh wait, giant gold ingots. Yes, okay, this might be useful for later. Let's grab as many as we can. We literally have 46 giant gold ingots. So that should be good. And also there's a giant bat right here. Can I have to kill these guys? Wait, what? What is this? Oh, a giant bat wing. The giant spider also dropped a giant streak, it looks like. Wait, these guys all dropped special stuff. Well, let's keep making our way up and probably the easiest way is through this water. So up we go. Okay, so the next layer, I think is straight up this way with the water again. Oh wait, the door might be up there. Okay, let's try that over there. Oh wait, there's a chest. Maybe it's at the chest. A rainbow? Luckiest of them all. What does this do? Oh, it's the rainbow. I forgot about this thing. Okay, this thing is sick. It pretty much just drops a lot of rainbows. We can definitely keep that for later and we also have the bomb buddy, which I never use. And what does this do? <gasps> never mind. I found the giant door, guys. Giant door, guarding of the way home. All right, let's do this. Oh gosh, he does good damage. No, 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 bomb buddy. Oh gosh, okay, no more bomb buddy. What about the massive wand? Let's throw in some fireballs. And holy, that does damage. And just like that, that's gonna be it for the giant door. And finally, I think we have a way home. Oh. Yep, that is one big door. So yet again, we get another potion of growth. Let's go ahead and take that. Size up. And we haven't received a message just yet. But if you look at the very top, it might be time to go to the boat. Because I think that's a boat. And what is this thing exactly? A giant's club. Loyal to the wielder. Left click smash. Right click toss. Left click smash. What about right click? Oh. That's cool. It's like a whole club. Okay, so because in the book, we do need a lot of the string and a lot of the rotten flesh, I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of the time that I have right here and go ahead and grind out as many mobs as I can. And then once we have enough stuff, we'll be going back. All right, give me one sec, guys. So by the end of all that, we now have 27 giant string, 26 giant rotten flesh, and pretty much everything we're gonna be needing for some more crafts. But before we do that, let's get out of here. Oh man, it's now a pirate ship that's waiting for us there. So I guess we gotta go all the way up there. And the best way of getting up there actually is probably going to be by going back to the book and getting the thing that says glide with ease. So I need five big feathers, a bunch of string, and one bat wing. So I think that goes right there. And then I think the feathers go right here. So all that's left to do now is get all the giant string right here. And just like that, we get a giant parachute. Never take fall damage again. Oh, I thought this was going to be like an elytra. I just got scammed, didn't I? Oh, wait, I can go up with this. Oh, that's sick. Okay, let's just keep right clicking and keep going up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, we did it. Okay, we made 
made it to the boat, and I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do here. Okay, so it says find the treasure, but where exactly is the treasure? Would it be down here? This thing is so big. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that the treasure? Okay, let's go all the way down real quick. Holy, that is a big chest place. Okay, before I go to the treasure, is there anything in here? Oh, it's pretty much random items. Nice. Don't mind me. I'm gonna go ahead and take the ancient debris because that is something nice. But for now, let's get to the treasure chest and we gotta get giant gold ingots inside of it, I think. So good thing I mind these. Let's put in eight and oh, pirate king, captain of the crew. Oh gosh. Okay, another boss fight. Oh my, he does so much damage. Why is my minions take him for all he has? Plunder his pockets. I'm literally getting robbed. What the heck? I don't have much sword damage left. No, the sword broke. I have the wand, so that should be good enough. Okay, this might break the ship, but this will do good damage. Go on, lasers. Oh, it's doing pretty good damage. Couple more hits. And yes. Oh my goodness, that was a little bit too close. But just like that, that's gonna be it for the pirate king. And where the heck did the items go? Are they gonna be coming from the chest at least? So what does this give me? Oh, it gave me the hook again. Nice. Okay, so we ended up getting the next potion of growth, which might as well, why not? Let's go to use that. Yet again, size up and the progression bar goes up. And now we gotta speak to the giant wolf. You're strong enough to tame the giant wolf. Okay, I remember that being down there so we can get to that later. And we also got a giant netherite ingot finally and a giant diamond. My goodness. Okay, a lot of giant stuff. But the main thing I'm interested in is actually the captain's hook. Oh, it's like a grappling hook. Oh, that's sick. Okay, I mean, my, why not? Let's go ahead and get out of here. And the next thing we gotta do is speak with this wolf right here, apparently. Oh, I gotta get him giant bones. How do I get giant bones? Oh, I already have seven of them. Okay, I mean, that's literally the perfect amount. So giant bones right there. And what happens now? Wait, what, what the heck are these things? Um, hello? Wait, did they just die? What the heck just happened? Okay, anyways, though, we ended up getting a mammoth dog whistle, which what happens when I right click this? Oh, I have a little dog army. Oh, that's sick. Um, I guess these are little giant dogs. Very cool. Well, I mean, that's pretty much gonna be it for the dog part. So let's go ahead and drink that push to growth. Size up yet again. And now our next challenge is from a construction worker, which says, if you bring me some materials, I'll show you this new build I learned. Can't find me? I'm down by the river. Down by the river. Okay, so it says construct the very cursed text at the top, but I'm not really sure what this dude is. Uh, do I go down this river right here? Let's make a boat real quick. All right, let's get on the boat and see what exactly is waiting for us down here. Oh, whoa, wait, is that a giant village? Anyone home? Hello? Guys, I was very dumb. The construction worker was literally right by the witch, so uh, he needs eight giant iron ingots, which we have 14, so let's go ahead and give him some, and four giant diamonds, which we only sadly have one of. So with that being said, we gotta go back mining, so let's go down real quick and get some giant diamonds, I guess. Oh, wait a second, guys. I just realized, because I have a big iron pickaxe, we can also make a diamond pickaxe bigger. So let's real quick get a normal crafting table. We can go ahead and make a diamond pickaxe and with the growing powder, I think we should be able to make this thing into a very big one. Real quick though, let me get some more growing powder. So with all that growing powder, we get the big diamond pickaxe. Perfect for mining giant diamonds. So this is a big iron pickaxe and this is an even bigger diamond pickaxe. Oh my gosh. All right, so now our mission pretty much is just to find some diamonds, which we haven't found any. We, I keep thinking this stuff is diamonds. Oh wait, there's diamonds right here. I am kind of blind. Okay, wait, is this gonna work? <gasps> oh my gosh, that is amazing. Wait, what the heck? 54 giant diamonds. Okay, yeah, I think we got everything we needed. Okay, let's go back up. All right, Mr. Construction Worker, got all the diamonds you need. There you go. Three more diamonds, and now he says I can now build the altar. I could have done it in half the time. Wait, an altar? Huh? Wait, what? Now we gotta fight a giant here, Brian. Why? Oh gosh, okay, he does good damage. All right, let's do this. Oh wait, I just put him in a hole. I mean, he kind of deserves this, and to make it even better, guys. Wait, he just brought me inside. Are you serious? No, 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 no. Bad here, Brian. Oh gosh, oh gosh, guys. This is bad. 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 Let's get out of here. Okay, you stay down there. Don't pull me in. All right, because we have the Giants Club, let's go and try this thing out. All right, take this. Okay, and just like that, that's gonna be for here, Brian. And he ended up dropping an it looks like a hero brian's battle axe with a level six enchantments which says remove the souls from your enemies with ease how does this work oh my gosh oh that's good look at all the growing powder i'm gonna go ahead and grab all that very soon but before we do that let's go ahead and get the potion of growth real quick drink that size up yet again and now our new goal is to fix the ruined portal okay so i think that's all the way up there so one sec let me grab all this growing powder real quick and then go all the way back up all right that should be enough now let's go up okay so ruined portal should 
should be right there. What the heck? Okay, this thing is huge. Also, that ocean is huge. So I got to give it a giant obsidian. But how exactly do I get a giant obsidian piece? Oh, I'm kind of dumb. Okay, so it's not as easy as it sounds, guys, because this says could probably fix a portal. And apparently we need one giant bucket of water, one giant bucket of lava, and a lot of growing powder. And to get a giant bucket, we need a lot of giant iron ingots. So we can definitely do that, I think. Hey, there we go. Okay, so with all those giant iron ingots, we get a huge bucket for giant liquids. I got to make two of these. So let me real quick make another one. And now with a huge bucket, do I just go to this giant water pool? So what happens when I right click this? Oh, yo, that was sick. Oh, it's refilling itself. Nice. Anyways, uh, now that we have the, another huge bucket, the last thing we can get is maybe a giant bucket of lava. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the lava and right click. Yo, what the heck? Giant lava, giant water. Nice. And now with some growing powder, we get a giant piece of obsidian. What? Okay, so now let's go back and let's just go ahead and put this in. Did that work? Oh, it worked! The giant room portal has been completed. Shoot the portal with your massive wand to light it. Okay, so do I just go inside now? Let me just drink this real quick and size up yet again. Well, let's go inside and see what happens. And we're in. Defeat the giant Palin. Let's, I guess, go outside. Maybe this is a giant fortress and it kind of looks like it. Yep, the nether is definitely big. And wait, oh, there it is. Oh, that thing is huge. Okay, let's go up real quick. All right. Let's do this. Oh, gosh. Okay, this guy takes a lot of damage. I'm just going to throw in as many fireballs as I can. Go on, lasers. I'm going to throw in a giant zombie sword. Go on. Get him. Oh, that does some good damage. Okay, we're actually doing some combo moves against this guy. Giant's club. Oh, this does insane damage. Couple more hits. And just like that, that's going to be it for the piglin. And wait, this piglin looks happy. Buddy, buddy, I'm just going to grab that. Okay, I don't know why you're so happy, but you're stuck right there. Let me drink that real quick. Size up. Your water ran out of power. I'll need to recharge it. Out of power, recharge with giant fireballs. By the way, do you, do you take gold ingots? Uh, hello, buddy. Uh -huh. Oh, perfect. Here's your giant ender pearl. I mean, why not? Let's go ahead and get as many giant ender pearls as we can. Okay, let's real quick get all the way up. What the heck? That guy is huge. Okay, let's take care of you. And he dropped a giant wither skull. Wait, is that for the giant wither we saw? Not really sure. Okay, let's get you out of the way too. Oh, wait, what is this? Giant blaze powder. Muds are taking a lot of blaze rods. And what exactly can we make with all these things? Oh, okay. So one giant blaze rod and one ender pearl gives us the eye that sees all. And I'm gonna guess I need the wither skeleton skull for something else, but now to recharge my wand, I gotta kill all those blazes, so give me one sec, guys. Time to go in. Okay, we have nine giant fireballs, which fuel the source for the massive wand, but we need one more to go, and I can't use this just yet, so I guess this might be our last dude. And yes! Okay, please don't fall in lava. Oh, yes, it dropped perfectly. Let's go ahead and right-click these guys, and oh, it worked. Okay, your massive wand has regained its power, and a potion of growth fell out. So we got the wand back, and yet again, size up, and I don't know how things are gonna get even bigger, but now with that being done, I can't really tell what that thing is at the top of the bar right now. All I know is that sooner or later we get to the cow and we're almost done to the final boss. But for now, I think it might be time we get out of here. So with all that being done, let's get back to the portal and get out of here. Wait, where the heck did it spawn me? This isn't the portal. Oh, wait. At the top, it says now defeat the giant wither. Do I have to use this giant wither head somewhere? I guess let's go up. Holy. Okay, I got the giant wither head and I guess we just go up here now. And now on top of the soul sand, it says place the wither skull to summon the wither. This might be a really bad idea, but let's place it. Oh, my screen just went black. Giant wither, king of the withers. Oh no, not this guy. No, 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 I'm already poisoned. Okay, this is about to be tough. Here we go. Oh gosh, okay. Every time I fight him, I feel like he gets even more abilities. Okay, let's go in massive one. What about the club? Oh, the club might be a good idea. Oh, and the captain's hook. Oh, never mind, he poisoned me. Holy, this fight is actually so hard with this guy. He's never been this difficult. Go on, club. Oh, the club's doing good damage. What the heck is he doing? Oh my gosh, that's insane. Oh no, he set me on fire. Okay, I don't take fall damage with this thing. Okay, one more club and yes, finally, just like that. That's going to be it for the giant wither and I've unlocked the wither skull ability. Press O to use it. Before we do that, we got an extra large elytra. Oh wait, we got an elytra boost ability with that so that's cool. And also, yet again, another push of growth. Let's go ahead and take that and now we get to the next challenge which is going to be to investigate the giant cow statue. Okay, so let's get to the giant cow statue and the only way to get there, I feel like, is fitting with this giant ender pearl where what happens if I throw it? Oh, we landed in water. Nice. Okay, so what the heck is in here? Um, defeat the defenders? Oh, what? Wait, what is going on? Do I gotta go up somehow? Okay, let's go up. Oh my gosh. 
Wait, what the heck is going on here? It's floating cows. Do I gotta fight the cows? All right, get over here, cows. We're on the udders defeating the cows. A few more cows to go. And that's gonna be it for the final cow. And it says, reach the top and milk the cow? Are we really milking this cow? Okay. Oh, we found the cow. Okay, so use a huge milk bucket on me. So I guess let's make the milk bucket real quick. There we go. A huge bucket yet again. And the only thing to do now would be to milk this giant cow. The push into growth fell out of the cow. And we now have a huge milk bucket, which helps you grow big and strong. Okay, let's pick this up real quick before we do anything else. And ow, I'm Buff X Astorio. Hey, let's go. Okay, um, not really sure how to feel about this one, but let's just jump all the way down. And while we're Buff X Astorio, let's go ahead and drink the potion of growth. And yet again, size up. And the final thing we got to do is fill in the portal. But where's the portal? Um, give me one sec, guys. Let's try to find that. Wait, is it down here? Oh, wait, what the heck? Guys, this is the biggest end portal I've ever seen. And I think if I remember correctly, to make an Eye of Ender, we just got to do this. And that's going to be a giant Eye of Ender. Oh, gosh. And I guess we just place it right here. Oh, my goodness. So with that Eye of Ender done, I think, guys, it's time for the final battle. Not sure what the final giant boss is going to be, but let's enter the giant portal. I've reached the max size, but maybe the massive dragon can get you even bigger. Oh, we're fighting a massive dragon then as the final fight. Holy what the heck, buddy is so big. Okay, dogs, come to me. All right, let's go do this. Final fight. Let me get on my elytra and let's go in. The dragon's so chunky. Oh my gosh. Firing some lasers. Let's go in. Oh, this is a hard one to fight. What if I try out the club against him? Go on, club. Get him. That actually does pretty good damage. Oh wait, is he purging? Okay, let's hit him a couple times. I'm a little bit low in health, but we can do this. Come on, club. Holy, it's doing so much damage. No, he's leaving. But he is so big. What the heck? What's another weapon I could use? Uh, fireballs. Oh, that works. Okay. All right. Some more clubs. Okay. Literally two more hits. Oh, no, I can't bomb him. Get back here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's one final hit. Come on. No, I keep missing. And just like that, that's going to be it for the giant dragon. And it looks like we got one final item right here. And we got a singularity. Use me if you dare. Right click. Ow. No, 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 no. Congratulations. You made everything big. Well, guys, I think we made a black hole. So with that being done, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's a video just like this one. Bye, guys.